The well, police department and parks and rec announce a new program tackling the amount of crime happening in the city parks. Looking to clean that up and News 11's Valeria Rodriguez shares more. I'm here at one of the many parks around the city of Yuma where there will be more on duty officers. What we want to do is just make sure that the parks are safe and continue to be someplace that the families can enjoy. You know, police share why they started these patrols. To be doing education and enforcing any laws that we see that are being um, broken. Sharing an example of what they are going after. Usually it's in the slides or any of the property that's in within the parks. You will see that we do have graffiti um, that occurs throughout the evenings or throughout the day, really any particular time. Some recent incidents include officers responding to an 18-year-old man who had a gun at Friendship Park last month. Last October, YPD found a recording device in a restroom at San Guangueri Memorial Park. And last July, YPD responded to reports of shots fired near Kennedy Memorial Park. Some locals shared their thoughts on the increase of a police presence. I'm all for it. I, I totally support law enforcement. I think it's good and um, it just keeps the, the community safe and, and helps put people's fears at ease. And, you know, I trust them. I think they do a wonderful job. Another local shares there can never be too many officers patrolling. I don't feel like we need to have more police officers here, but I don't see anything wrong with it. And I totally support the police. According to YPD, these patrols will be going on indefinitely. If you see something suspicious, don't hesitate on calling the Yuma Police Department or you can call 78 Crime to remain anonymous. Reporting in Yuma, Valeria Rodriguez, News 11.